Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Winnebago Mini 2500 RL. It coming in just over 5,000 pounds. This is a wonderful couples model, nice big slide out, tons of countertop space as well. But let's go ahead and start right up front here. We'll make our way around and then head on in. One of the first things you'll notice is this right here, which is a powered tongue jack. This makes it really simple and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Just touch of a button and this will raise and lower the tongue. Also, the other switch on here is for a light, so if you do need a little extra visibility at night, just go ahead and flip that guy on. And right behind that is your uh, propane tank cover, very easy to access. Just undo these two thumb screws. That way you can go ahead and lift up the door there and you will see inside you have two 20 pound tanks. Then behind the propane tank cover is the rails for your battery box. And coming up the front here is diamond plating. This helps protect the front end from any rocks or uh, debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle so it doesn't scratch up your beautiful fiberglass front end. Come around to the side with me for a second here. We'll take a look at the pass-through. Large opening on the pass-through. You can take a look in there, see that it is uh, nice and finished off. You have a light. Also, if you notice on the wall over there by the off-door side, you have a battery disconnect. So that way when you're done camping, you can just go around to the off-door side, hit the switch. It will kill all power to your coach. Now one of the things I love talking about on Winnebago towable products are the sidewalls. If you can see the shine and luster you have on the sidewall here, that's because this is one of the best uh, sidewall constructions you can have. It is a true poured gel coat that's on here. Uh, the closest thing I can compare that to is a boat haul. If you think of the boats, you can buff them, you can shine them, they'll have that luster for the life of the unit. It'll be the same way with this. You won't see any fibers in here. It's just gorgeous, uh, again, high-end quality there. Then as we come back a little bit further, you can take a look at the power awning. So uh, again, trying to make things easy, you have a power tongue jack, power awning, touch a button, that rolls out, same thing to go ahead and roll right back in. Now if you're one that likes to cook outside, if you take a look underneath, you will see right there is a propane quick connect. That way you can just go ahead and plug your grill right in there to feed off the two 20 pound bottles, rather than having to bring the separate small little green ones. Now getting into the coach is very easy as well. You will notice three steps here. So uh, you know that way the first one's nice and low to the ground. Also you have the easy grab handle. So that way from the very first step all the way into the coach, you have the assistance, make sure you won't slip and fall. Two outside speakers here. So if you do want to listen to music while you're sitting out underneath the awning, that's not an issue whatsoever. That is controlled by the Bluetooth multimedia center inside. So if you have a smartphone or tablet, you can go ahead and use that Bluetooth uh, connectivity to connect to that and control your music right out here. If you like to watch TV, that's not an issue either. If you see right here, you'll see they put a sticker to uh, locate where the TV backer is. That way you can just go ahead and mount your bracket on there. Hookups right here, of course, so you can go ahead and watch TV. Even if you don't want TV, you do still have electrical outlet out there, so if you want to plug anything else in, you can certainly do so. Now if you take a look down below, you will see the uh, deluxe alloy rims there, have the nice blue accents, really help them pop, and they're also nitrogen filled tires, so you'll get more even tire wear and a better tow going down the road. So not only do you have that large pass-through storage up front, but if you take a look right here, they give you a nice extra storage compartment right here in the back. Uh, you know, this is again, I love that they have this here because it's storage on the door side. So it is very easily accessible if you need to get in there, uh, you know, for marshmallow pokers or whatever else it may be. Again, just very easy to get to. And as you come around to the back side, you'll notice the rear mounted ladder. This of course makes it so you don't have to bring one with you, which you know ladders take up a lot of the room in your pass through. So by having one mounted all the, uh, already on there, you're good to go. You can just climb right up on the roof for any kind of maintenance, clean it off when you're done camping, whatever else you need to get up there for, you can go ahead and do so. Window on the back, so if you have a nice beautiful view out the back, you can go ahead and enjoy that. Spare tire with the cover. Hopefully you never have to use the spare tire, but in the event that you do, you have the peace of mind knowing it's riding right back here and it will be in good shape because you have the cover that is on there protecting it from the elements. Now, as I said, this one does have a big slide on here. You can take a look at that. You can see it has worm gear both on the top and on the bottom. So that way as you move it, it'll go ahead and slide in and slide out on all four corners. Also on the front end of the slide here, you do have an outside shower 
power with both hot and cold. And then right underneath that is a black tank flush. So uh, if you're not familiar with the black tank flush, what that does is it's having to drag a hose through your entire camper and putting it down the toilet to wash out your black tank. Now you can just hook it right up to that black tank flush, has sprayers built in the black tank, and it'll go ahead and rinse it out for you. All right, folks, I know it's gorgeous on the outside. You have to love Winnebago products. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Winnebago Mini 2500 RL. This particular model is in the Mocha interior. Let's go ahead and start off right over here on the kitchen. So you'll notice as soon as you walk in, you have the Dometic fridge freezer combo right here. Six cubic foot, so you do have ample room. Uh, nice tall cutout, or a cutout right there for taller items too. So if you wanna put in like a two liter of soda, half gallon of milk, you can go ahead and do so. Also, this unit does run off both electric and propane and has automatic switchover. So if you're running it off propane, as long as it's on auto, as soon as you plug it into shore power, it will automatically switch over to electric for you, saving you on your propane gas. Then as you move a little bit further in, right here is your microwave. There's the weight, 5,080 pounds. So as I mentioned, just a little over 5,000, easily towable. Uh, right here is your hood with the light and fan. Three burner cooktop here, but as, as you notice, they give you a cover on both the cooktop and sink top cover. So if you take a look, you have huge countertop prep space on here, which is phenomenal. Uh, of course, you just lift this guy up. It does bend in the middle, folds back. A three burner Atwood cooktop there. The front one is high output. I personally like Atwood. I think it has great flame control on there. And underneath here, you also have a standard oven in case you wanna do some baking. Now the sink top covers, both of these can come off, of course, they, or rather you can turn them over. Both of these are cutting, uh, cutting, uh, excuse me, cutting board quality. So if you want to flip them over, use this cutting board, you can go ahead and do so. The reason I say flip them over is because that way when you put them back on the sink, it makes sure that the top side doesn't have a bunch of knife marks in it. But as you take a look there, double bowl stainless steel sink, high rise faucet as well in order to aid in washing dishes. Large window here lets in a lot of natural light during the day, gives you a nice view. And then up top you have the LED light here, so you have light at night. Great storage up top as well. If you take a look right up there, it actually wraps all the way around the back side too, which we'll see in just a second, uh, but excellent storage space. Then if you notice right over there, you have an electrical outlet. So if you do need to plug anything in, whether it's a, uh, a blender or a coffee maker or anything like that, you can go ahead and do so. Then as we shoot underneath, right underneath the sink here, you have three large full extension drawers. So plenty of room for the silverware here. If you wanna put you know larger items like your spatulas and serving spoons and stuff down there, you can certainly do that as well. Then right over here, you have a nice big cutout for pots and pans. Also, if you take a look right underneath, you can see in there you have a very large storage area as well. Along the back is a jackknife sofa. So this is a great place to sit and hang out, watch TV, have conversation. This does drop down into a bed. And also, if you take a look, it's very easily accessible to storage right down here. So anything you need to get into, you can either lift this up, or as you can see, this drops right down. So again, making it super easy to go ahead and get in. Large window on the back, I showed you that when we were outside. So again, both these windows let in a lot of natural light, gives you the view out the back. LED light here as well. And then as I mentioned just a moment ago, you have storage up top. As you move over to the slide out here, it's a slide out dinette, large space, which is great. You can see you have plenty of room from the seat to the table here. A lot of times the dinettes, you know, your legs get kind of pinned or you know, don't have a lot of room here either. Uh, this one you do, it, uh, in the 2500 here, you do have ample room, which is great. This also drops down into a bed. So again, if you need extra sleeping space, just go ahead and take these legs out right here. The table sits right here along these rails, fill it in with cushions and you're good to go. Windows all around there too and of course your light fixture right up here up top then over here is the entertainment center um, you have a Jensen TV here as well as your Jensen multimedia center I did touch on this when we were outside uh, this is Bluetooth capable controls your speakers both inside as well as outside um, and, and as I the other thing I didn't mention though is this is your radio CD player and DVD player so if you do want to watch a movie you can just go ahead and pop it right on there and then you can watch it on your 32 inch TV 
Uh, one of the things I do like to mention when it comes to the electronics, these are Jensen electronics. The reason I like to mention that is manufacturers pay more money for Jensen because they're top of the line in RV electronics. But they're 100% worth it because they are built specifically for the RV industry. They're built to withstand these shocks and vibrations from going down the road, as well as the temperature extremes from very hot to very cold. So that way you know you'll get continued use season after season. Right up top here, you can see extra storage area there. And then same thing right here down below underneath your multimedia center. You will also know there's a plug-in or notice there's a plug-in there. That's cool too if you do need to hook up any kind of auxiliary equipment like an Xbox or a Blu-ray player or something like that. Or if you're sitting in a dinette and want to do some work, you can go ahead and plug it in right there. Now if you come around the corner, this is something that's really neat. Uh, they, they really have done a good job of utilizing all the space. When you open this up, you'll see your control panel here in the center, but then top and bottom you have excellent shelving. Of course, you can use this for whatever you want. If you want extra pantry space, you can do that. Myself, personally, I would probably use it as a linen closet uh, because it's right outside the bathroom here, so that way you can easily just grab your towel and head right in. Thermostats right outside the door. It's just a touch thermostat, very simple and easy to use. Um, you know, you can, like I said, you don't even have to push it, just barely put your finger on it, it works pretty neat. And you can see it also lights up, so it's easy to see at night. Then heading into the bathroom here, we can go ahead and take a look. You'll notice right down in the corner is your foot flush lever toilet. That is a porcelain bowl, so nice and easy to clean, which is great, uh, especially being in a lighter weight camper. Then as you move over to the side here, you'll see your Neo Angle shower. Uh, I love the doors on here. They are in a roller track, magnetic latch right here to seal the door. Of course, you have a travel lock there as well. But the reason I like these doors is because they are inside the shower basin the way they open so that way all the water will stay in the shower base and not get all over the floor. Also, you'll see you have sufficient shelving in there, of course your hand wand, and up top a skylight, uh, which lets in a lot of natural light, gives you some additional headroom. You can see right here, you know, I'm about six foot and I still have plenty of room. Uh, a lot of that due to this skylight there as well. Then as we step back out, uh, right over here is your vent above the toilet. So of course that will help get the moisture out. Over here is mirrored medicine cabinet. You have shelving here, as well as shelving on the other side of the door here. Um, this of course is your sink top and vanity. Stainless steel bowl in here. You know, it's not a plastic one like you see in most. Again, showing that Winnebago quality. And then underneath here you have some additional storage. Plug in there of course as well for your hair dryer. And then a light switch which controls the light directly above. Now there are two entrances and exits into the uh, bathroom here, one into the main area, the other one into the bedroom. The bedroom also has two entrances, the side one and of course right here into the bathroom. But let's head on into the bedroom and take a look. In the bedroom of the 2500, of course you'll notice right here is the queen bed. Excellent storage underneath, very easy to access. You have two struts on either side, lifts the bed up nice and tall so again you can get in there from anywhere you need to. We'll go ahead and close that back down. On both sides of the bed, you will notice you have wardrobe storage, which is great. Uh, hanging storage there. And then underneath, you have some shelving space. So if you have a glass of water, if you want to charge a cell phone, or if you have a CPAP machine, there is sufficient room there. You'll also see there's electrical outlets on both sides too. So again, if you need to plug anything in, you can easily do so. Across the top is some additional storage. LED light here for reading. Uh, you have an extra vent up top. And of course, ducted AC. Also over to one side there, you'll see your King Jack. That's an upgraded TV antenna. So uh, the King Jack, all you have to do is turn it to find the best reception. You don't have to worry about lifting it up or down, so you don't have to you know, f uh, remember to constantly lower it when you leave, just making the process a lot easier. But all right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Winnebago Mini 2500RL. Uh, if you're looking for a nice couples coach that has you know, excellent countertop space, you have this slide out there, and you want something that's high-end, it's gonna last a long time, this is definitely one worth taking a look at. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the section below, or you can always give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. If you do have particular questions on the specs of the unit, or if you're looking for latest price and availability, I recommend you visit our website, which is AmericanRV.com, for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, that way you can see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching, I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.